All right, guys. Today, we are going to be tackling another project here on Sally. Haven't done a modification in a while, but today we're gonna go ahead and do the steering wheel once again. So a while back, I made a video on how to transform your 2005 to 2009 Mustang steering wheel by turning the paint into this awesome chrome finish. It will pop up either right there or right there. Go check it out if you haven't already, if you want this cool looking emblem. Today, we're gonna go ahead and take it up the next level. I got myself a new emblem. The GT emblem, these are super rare to find. Even if you do find them, they sell out super, super quick. I was very fortunate to have the hookup and today I'm gonna go ahead and transform my steering wheel once again and show you guys exactly how to do it and how it looks. Before we get started, make sure you go to naterider.com and get your Rider air freshener. And also don't forget about my Sally keychains. I appreciate the support so much. To give you guys a better understanding on this emblem right here, it is not a one piece with this airbag, the top portion of the airbag that you see right here. It's simply this. This is all this cap really is. It's just a little thin piece of aluminum with some latches and that is it. So the proper way to go ahead and install this is of course to take the airbag out to drill holes, to rivet holes back together and that full nine yards. I'm one of the most laziest person that you will ever meet and lazy people know how to work around and today we're gonna go ahead and do a workaround because I really don't feel like doing the full taking the airbag and everything. The game plan that we are gonna go ahead and do is simply rip this off, take the GT symbol and then place it right on. All right, so in order to take this emblem off, we're gonna need some tools and I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to take this off. I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it. I have myself some screwdrivers and a paint can opener. You could get a like Home Depot or something like that. I'm just literally gonna try to lift this up and see how it goes. I'm gonna set you guys down, but that's basically what I'm gonna do. I know that this breaks off. You just have to find a reason how to lift it up and that's what I'm gonna do with this guy. <laughs> All right, sorry, I had to go off camera just to get the screwdriver underneath this crumb, but once when you catch it, you can simply lift up and this sucker comes out right away. Try not to damage the top portion of the leather because that will be really bad, but you just gotta force your way underneath. Once when you get underneath, you just simply lift and the emblem comes right off. And there you have it. <laughs> it just literally came right off. You guys saw that. Awesome. Wow, I didn't know how easy this would come off. But yeah, here you guys go. Literally came straight off. Here's the old one. The clips were like glued behind this, but the sucker pops right off. All right, so I didn't know how easy this would go ahead and come out. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is cut the latches right here and then try hot gluing it right on. All right, so I don't know if you guys could see, but there's some latches that are way too long for the steering wheel. We are simply just gonna cut them off. <laughs> All right guys, and there you have it. We're gonna go ahead and see how this fits just by sticking it on to see exactly what we have to see if we need to sand them out or if it fits like a glove. Uh, let's just go ahead and place this right there. And it fits, hold on. I mean, it fits like a glove. These lengths that, I, that you see right here are way shorter than the depth of this rivet that you guys see around here. So uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is heat up the hot glue gun. Gonna put some hot glue on here and then uh, just go ahead and plant it right on. And from there on out, we should be good to go. All right, so the glue gun is currently heating up and I just wanna go ahead and show you guys before we start gluing. There are some grooves that are pretty 
deep. We're going to have to place a lot of hot glue, especially because of that, as well as this is a rounded emblem. So once when we glue it, we have to put enough glue just so that it's sticking out so that it could connect to the emblem. That's what we have to be able to do. The plus about this is that the emblem sticks without any glue. With the glue, it will secure it even more. You don't need a crazy a lot of glue because this thing is like the lightest thing in the world. You just have to make sure that you get enough glue so that it could connect to this as well as the emblem. I think I'm gonna go ahead and go down only these four grooves right here so that it could connect. Once when that is good, I'm just gonna make sure that everything is straight and then we should be good to go from there on out. All right, I finally put you guys down in an okay spot. I got the hot glue gun. Let's go ahead and put some dabs and then I'm gonna go ahead and quickly place the emblem, center it as much as I can before the glue dries. And it's as simple as that. All right, that should be enough. Got to get these spider webs out. Oh man. All right, now we take this. And we merge it, center it, and squeeze it. If you can feel the heat on the emblem, that's really good. I feel it sticking. You just got to, yeah, golly, it's that easy. That easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and put enough pressure until I feel the glue not so warm. And there you guys have it. It is as simple as that and wow. Look at how amazing that looks. This GT emblem is a huge upgrade. I love, I love this, this retro look right here. And I know you guys love it too. It is just, oh my goodness, look at that shine. Look at that, but yeah guys, it was way easier than I thought. I did not have to take out this full airbag, which I am so relieved about. I simply just pried it off and stuck it on with glue. I, but it's a simple, simple install. If you enjoyed the video, I hope you enjoyed this upgrade. I know I did. It was so awesome. Here it is one last time. The retro look on the 2005 to the 2009 Mustang GT. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you on the next one.